Hi, it's Marcin from Aikido Virtual Dojo. Welcome back to another episode on our channel. And today we want to profit a little bit from the sunny summer weather in Veve. Uh, and we'll share with you some work with the jaw. So this video will be about the fourth Kumi Jo or the Yon no Kumi Jo. Uh, a series of movements with uh, simple attack and, and some responses. Uh, we'll show you a demonstration of the movement and uh, we'll explain both sides. Uh, what are the important things to, to, to learn from this uh, Kumi Jo. So enjoy watching. Okay, let's begin by looking at the attacking side of the fourth Kumi Jo. Okay, so again, we call the attacking Jo the Uchi Jo. And we're going to start by showing you the Yon no Kumi Jo from the attacker side. So as we begin, we're going to come, the attacking side will come into a Ski Kamai. And so obviously the first attack then will be a Ski. Okay, so I move in and he's going to respond. Now from here, he's going to do a, what's called a, a toma uch, which he's going to swing around for the side of the head. And as he does, I'm going to draw the jo up at an angle where I can receive the impact of the jo without, it, um, without it hitting my head. So I don't want to be too far forward, and I don't want to be too far up, and I don't want to be too far to the side because he could still, boom, hit me. So there's a really specific angle here where um, I'm not completely forward, but I'm about 45 degrees to the side. The left hand here is open and extending through the Joe and then dropping down a little bit, okay? The right side has a, almost kind of a 90 degree angle with the elbow. So we want to be able to support the Joe from underneath. The left side is reaching through the Joe so I'm kind of at this angle where it's protecting the side of the head and the top of the head at the same time. So as he comes in for the toma uch, he draws through, and if he, whoo, if he makes an impact, then it, it will block that impact, okay? Keep the hand open still because uh, if I leave the fingers, if I grab the fingers, then they could actually be hit. So I want to leave the fingers open and just be supportive and protected there, okay? Now from here, as he does that, we can also practice at a distance where I'm slightly back. So if he doesn't quite hit, then that's okay too. Afterwards, I'm going to drop the Joe down in front like I'm in Ski Kamai and prepare for a ski. So the last movement again is a, a piercing thrust and he will respond afterwards. As I come in, then he's going to respond to that. After the explanations of the Uchi Joe side by Durward, I will explain to you now the side of the Uke Jo. So I begin in the uh, Jo Kamae, and as Durward comes in with a ski, I will move back and draw my jaw with the right hand behind my head and support it with the left hand from underneath. So this is like the preparation for the jaw suburi, uh, the katate toma uch. It's exactly the same movement. Uh, my, the jaw is aligned with my shoulders. So you can see here that as I draw back, as I move back and draw back the jaw, I aligned it with my shoulders behind my head so that I'm ready to strike around my head. As I do this, I want to support my jaw, the jaw with my wrist from underneath, from my center, and I'm targeting the, more or less the head of, of the opponent, 
or the height of my head if I have no opponent, opponent if I do the uh, Josuburi. And I finish to the side, receiving the jaw at the side. So if we do it together now, after this uh, stepping back and preparing for the katate tomauch, I will strike and normally the partner will go back enough not to get in contact with the jaw, with the striking jaw, but he's using his jaw as protection in case the distance, distance would be not enough. Okay, now he will drop the jaw, as uh, Durot explained before, he will drop the jaw and do another ski, where I will move with my front foot to the side, aligning already on his center line with his movement, draw the left hand to the end of the jaw, preparing for a ski, for a high ski, bring my left foot to the hanmi position, aligning on the center line of, of, uh, of my partner, and striking with a high ski towards his solar plexus, which is finishing the series of movements. Now, if you want uh, to see more details about the Josuburi, the Katate Toma Uch itself, you can watch our earlier video, which, will, which we will link in the description, and there we are focusing really on the Suburi, explaining the specific movements of the Suburi. So, hope you liked this video, hope you liked the Kumi Jo, and thank you for watching. If you like our video, give us a thumb up and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe to receive notifications about new videos being published. More information is available in the channel description as well as through the links section.